Okay, my family. I pray that the Holy Spirit of God would lead us and guide us in all truth and understanding. I pray He would grant us more discernment and more wisdom so we would know His Word from the adversaries, so we would be led by the Spirit and not by the flesh. In Jesus Christ's most holy name. Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Selah. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall heap her, shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved, he uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. Come behold the work of the Lord, what desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow, and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us, and the God Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. He is a very present help in times of trouble, and make sure you call out to him. In times of trouble, focus only on Jesus Christ. Call out to him, and he will protect you and yours in your time of need. I have a message today from our sister, Deborah Walden Fry. The black roots are being pulled out. Beloved sisters and brothers, Father God is doing a mighty work in his children. In the spirit I saw and felt the river of life, sparkling, beautiful living waters flowing to the deepest part of our souls, and I saw black roots being lifted up and out. Roots of bitterness, roots of rejection, roots of fear and depression, sickness and disease, even spirits of suicide and death were being pulled out by their roots and washed away by his holy, overwhelming flow of love. Beloved, I am coming to you like the rain, a mighty outpouring of my pure love to the deepest parts of you. Clean, pure, bright, and glorious waters from the throne of grace shall flood your heart and uproot all things the enemy has tried to plant in your soul. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come to bring you life, and life abundantly. Yes, my child. You thought things would never change, but I am doing a new thing. I am sending the latter rain of glory to you and those you pray for. Everywhere my river flows, life springs forth. You are hidden in Christ. From this rock, sweet waters flow, always moving, always lifting you up and reviving you, and cleansing you from the dust of the day. I am washing away all the last remnants of the devastation and destruction in your soul. These black roots will no longer have a place within you. Not by might not by power, but by my spirit shall this be accomplished. Just lift your eyes and your hands to me, dear one, and receive. My glorious waters shall bring you joy once again. You shall see my goodness in the land of the living. I have translated you from the kingdom of darkness into my marvelous light. The bright clouds have appeared, and my going forth is as certain as the dawn. You will laugh and shout and sing and dance for joy in the glorious reign of my love. Hosea 6 and 3 so let us know, let us press on to know the Lord. His going forth is as certain as the dawn, and he will come to us like the rain, like the spring rain watering the earth. Zechariah 10 and 1. Ask ye of the Lord, rain in the time of the latter rain, so the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to every one, grass in the field. Revelation 22 and 1. Then the angel showed me a river of the water of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. Colossians 3, 2-3 Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life now is hidden with Christ in God. Psalm 46, 4-5 There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy dwelling place of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She will not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. Amen and amen. Glory to God in the highest. As with every word, take this into your prayer closet to seek confirmation from the Holy Spirit of God. 
trust in no man and trust in no woman, but put your full focus on Jesus Christ, our risen King and Savior. School has ended for many uh, students, and my, for mine it ends today. They had a makeup day for a snow day that was taken, so today there's, there's a makeup day for them, but then their school will have ended for another year. And another year of safety for our children, thank God. I pray that Father God in heaven would place his holy fire hedge of protection round about each and every one of you and your families on every side, far above you and far below you. I pray he would extend this coverage to your home and to your vehicles, to your places of work and worship, to your pets and your provisions, to your children, their schools, and their activities that they have throughout the summer. I pray that Father God in heaven would place this holy fire hedge of protection round about you and yours, the hedge that none may cross, the same as he did around Job and his family. I pray this in Jesus Christ's most holy, holy, holy name. I pray he would wash you clean with the blood of Jesus Christ. Wash you white as snow in Jesus Christ's most holy name. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. Glory to our risen King and Savior, in Jesus Christ's most holy, holy, holy name. Amen and amen.